For this example, we now need to completely disconnect the power source of the discovery board so that we can simulate the factory conditions of the battery being connected for the very first time. So you need to unplug your USB mini cable from your board and give it about five or 10 seconds while everything completely discharges on the board. Then when you reconnect the USB cable, the board should come back into powered up with the shutdown mode enabled. So you should be around 595 nanoamps. So on my board here, I'm showing about 480 nanoamps. So, so I am currently in the shutdown mode. Now if I press the joystick button for less than two seconds, so, so our startup time says we've got to press and hold it for at least two seconds, you will briefly see a spike on your multimeter to say that it's gone to check to see if there was something there, but it wasn't there long enough. And then if you press and hold it for two seconds, then you'll see the application go off. We'll now be back to our um, flow control water meter example, which was example number five. And you'll see it start cycling around every 10 seconds. It'll boot the display up, change the flow readings, um, and carry on counting as we had previously in example number five. So if you press the button again, you'll signify an increase on the flow then. So you'll need to wait for the button to be pressed or the RTC to time out, which is what example number five was. So, so to summarize all these different power modes, so run mode is what you need when you really do need to do some heavy computational skills or some calculations or whatever you need to do for your application to process the data you've collected. Low power run mode is where you can use a fairly weak power source, so super capacitors, um, are possibilities, batteries are uh, normally the common one. Then we have the sleep modes where you keep all the peripherals running but you can drop your current down by keeping the core asleep. Then we have the stop modes which is the perfect balance for a lot of battery based applications where you have a fast wake up time but you sit in a really low power consumption. Then if wake up time isn't as big an issue for you, you can go down into standby where you're actually consuming very little power now. And then if power is a major concern or you want your project or product to last uh, a lot longer on one battery that you never want to change, so it's a disposable product, then you can use this shutdown feature which can provide you with a shelf life before the actual product starts to be used in its normal application. So, any questions on the low power modes?